This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. We are here in your house sports for our monthly recording session at Rogue Media Network. I'm Manny D. It's your boy Vasos. Uh, Fast Sam's not here with us today. He is in Los Angeles trying to get us a uh, uh, negotiate a part of that contract of Otani yeah, of that seven hundred million dollars. Take that donation right there. Yeah. You know, he's only getting two, so it's like, hey, break it off about 500. Yeah, it'll be all right. I know, you know, a couple, couple bands, you know, Otani. Yeah, that's all we need. Yeah. Nothing, nothing major. <laughs> we'll shout out the Los Angeles Dodgers on the show. Well, we'll be, we'll be Dodger fans for a little while. <laughs> for 30 minutes or an hour. <laughs> hour long, we have to be Dodgers fans. But, man, that's a fat-ass contract. Jeez. What would you do with $700 million? Realistically. Realistically, man, I would. I don't know. I obviously, you know, your your first thoughts. I'm gonna pay off all my debt. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Hell no! I'm buying my own damn private <laughs> island. The hell with that debt, right? That's what I'm saying. I'll go out there and buy a stripper for life or something. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you're on my payroll. <laughs> buy your own army at that price. Yeah, you get the stripper on your payroll. They make money for you. Yeah, there you exactly. Go. Yeah. yeah. Who knows what else you're gonna <laughs> learn from this show? I should be saving this for the after dark episode, not right now. <laughs> Economics, boys and girls. Yeah. Economics. <laughs> That's what they don't teach you in school. But, yeah. So, appreciate y'all joining us uh, in your house sports on Facebook, YouTube.com, in your house sports. Go like, share, subscribe, comment. Do all that good, st- uh, good stuff. Hit that notification bell, as they always say. Ding. Yeah. Get notifications every time we go live. Yeah. Because we go live every week. At least once a week. At least once a week. So, yeah. That's what we do. Uh, what we got on deck today, we got uh, bowl preview. All the 399 college bowl games. Yep. Uh, everybody, including uh, Jimmy Kimmel, has a bowl game. Cheez-Its has a bowl game. Uh, Pop-Tarts probably have a bowl game. Every, yeah, everyone has a bowl game. Dollar General had a bowl game at once. I don't know if they still do. We'll find out. We got to put in a sponsorship for a freaking bowl game. We do. We, sh- we should. They just renovated Paul Tyson Field. There we so go. So how can we have a bowl game over there in your exactly. bowl game? Exactly. We could do that. Or we can just sponsor, you know, the Division Three championship. Who knows? Something, right? <laughs> I mean, that high school football championships are bigger than that. So right. <laughs> we, I think we'll be all right to do that. But we got a uh, bowl preview. Then also we have uh, – it's a quick turnaround on the Pick'em champion. Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. It's uh, so <laughs> we'll unveil the new or the remaining champion. champion. We'll see who keeps the title or takes the title. Yeah. And then we'll do the uh, picks for the NFL, and we'll talk about this past weekend. Man, it was a interesting weekend. Very, very interesting. Uh, can't quite put my toe on it as to what uh, <laughs> what went wrong. I don't know. And we have a hunch that, you know, there's a little a bit of a tampering there, but I'm not going to say all that out loud with one particular team in, what in question. What, Moida? Uh, he was a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and get into these bowl games. Yeah, let's get into All it. All right, here we go, because there's, like, there's a lot. There's not 399, like I said, but there is a lot. So, we're going to go through our picks, and then we're going to go through – Fat Sam had his picks as well. Uh, so, are you able to toggle Fat Sam's picks? Yes, I will. Try to at least. Um, Let me see. And the bowl game starts Saturday. So, as of this recording, they start Saturday December 16th. Okay, I found his. So it's going to be very interesting to see. So I like I like reading the titles of these bowl games too. You got the Myrtle Beach Bowl. You have Georgia Southern versus Ohio. And just for all for all entertainment purposes, like we don't know some of these teams. We yeah. didn't pay attention to some of these teams. So sometimes, you know, hey, teams, logo might look good or whatever. but The records I, may be deceiving. Very deceiving. Uh, so you got Georgia Southern, Ohio. I'm going to go pick uh, Ohio. I'm going to take Ohio as well. Fat Sam is taking Georgia Southern. All right. There we go. We got the Cricket Celebration Bowl. We got Howard versus Florida A&M. Is this Howard Payne? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just Howard. Yeah. But I'm going to go with Florida A&M. They have a snake as their logo. Yeah, I'll go with Florida A&M, and so is Fat Sam. Awesome. Then we have uh, the RL Carriers New Orleans Bowl. We got Jacksonville State versus Louisiana. Uh, I'm gonna go with Louisiana since it's in Louisiana. Is that the uh, ra- that's the Raging Cajuns? Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go with Jacksonville State. There we go. 
And Fat Sam's got He's got Louisiana. Awesome. Then we got <laughs> we got the avocados from Mexico cure bow. Avocados from Mexico. <laughs> And none of these teams got anything to do with Mexico. You got Miami of Ohio <laughs> versus Appalachian State. Complete opposite of Mexico. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with Appalachian State. Um, I'm going to take Ohio. Miami of Ohio. And Fat Sam is also taking uh, Ben Roethlisberger. I mean Miami of Ohio. <laughs> and you got the Esleta New Mexico Bowl. You got New Mexico State versus Fresno State. This could be an interesting game. Hey, shout out to New Mexico State, man. They sucked forever, and now they have a 10-4 and four record. But I'm not picking you. I'm picking Fresno State. I'm also picking Fresno State, and so is Fat Sam. But how in the hell do you have a 14-game schedule? Is that crazy? That makes no they sense. They played 14 games. Yeah. This makes zero sense to me. And I think they're the only team that has 14 games as of right now. Who knows? I mean, I feel like that's a New Mexico Bowl requirement that it has to be one of the team for, teams from New Mexico. So that doesn't make. Now I got to look into this. Does not make sense at all because third. Okay, you're playing your conference championship game. That's thirteen games. Thirteen games right there. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what the hell did somebody not realize that? Hmm. Some shisty, shisty things over here. Interesting. Trying to make a bowl game, I guess. And then you got the, right. You got the Starco Brands L.A. Bowl, UCLA versus Boise State. Um, uh, I'm gonna pick UCLA. Fat Sam is going UCLA as well. He's he's digging Chip Kelly at least for that part of it. <laughs> um, I'll take UCLA. They seem to be the favorites right now. Oh, that's crazy too. Boys, you say eight and five, but they fired their coach mid season. Yeah, makes no sense. Uh, you got the Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl, California at Texas. Well, not at Texas State, but California versus Texas Tech. Um, I mean, it's basically a home game for. Oh, never mind. I thought it said the Texas. Holiday Bowl. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> Texas Bowl. Um, I'm gonna go with Tech. Yeah, I think we're all on board and taking Tech. I'm taking Tech. And Just with Sam's familiarity, tech. I guess yeah. that it is. And they got the famous <laughs> Toastery Bowl. What the hell? Yeah, Western Kentucky versus Old Dominion. I'm gonna go with ODU. Fat Sam's also going with old, uh, old Dominion. If this was basketball, this would be a very good game. Oh, yeah. This would be an incredible game. Uh, I'm going to go Western Kentucky. And they got Scooter's Coffee Frisco Bowl. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you got H-E-B and Frisco. Yeah. Can we do H-E-B Frisco Bowl? Come on now. Scooter's H-E-B Coffee. Bowl something. The yeah. Hill Country Fair Bowl something. Something, right? Something. The Cattle Mac something. Let's do something. <laughs> Anyway, you got that. You got a UTSA versus Marshall. Uh, I'm going to go with UTSA. Uh, I'm going UTSA, and Spat Sam is going with UTSA as well. Oh, I love this one. You got the roofclaim.com, Boca Ratonbo. Boca S- Ratana. <laughs> yeah. You got South Florida versus Syracuse. Oh, man. I'm going to go with uh, Syracuse. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Syracuse as well. Fat Sam is going with South Florida. Hmm. South Florida. They're hanging with Alabama for a while this year. Yeah. And then that's when uh, <laughs> he finally put Milrose back in. That was Milrose it. back in, and that was it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> and then you have the uh, Union Home Mortgage Gasparilla Bowl. <laughs> all right. And you got Georgia Tech versus UCF. Oh, man. I'm going to go with Georgia Tech. I'm going to represent the Big 12 and go UCF. And Fat Sam is going with Georgia Tech. Yeah, UCF just so inconsistent this year. I don't know about Georgia Tech, but UCF just. Yeah. They'd have know. a great three quarters. That's fourth it. quarter. <laughs> That's it. They're like, ah, that should be enough. And then you have the 76 Birmingham Bowl. You got Troy versus Duke. Troy's a seven and a half point favorite. You know, I'm going to go with Troy. Duke's just, they lost their coach. They're yeah. running, their quarterback left for the year, and then he's going to Notre Dame now. Troy's winning this one. Uh, Sam, Fat Sam's got Duke. I'm going to keep with Troy for the same reasons you are. And it's in Alabama as well, so. <laughs> then you got the, uh, is that the Camellia Bowl? <laughs> yeah, I thought oh. I said the Carmella Bowl at first. I, I thought, like, hey, I'll sponsor her. <laughs> for real, right? <laughs> <laughs> They got Arkansas State versus 
Northern Illinois, Arkansas State's a one-point favorite. Vegas knows something. I'm going to go with Northern Illinois. Uh, yep, I'm going to go with Northern Illinois as well, so it's Fat Sam. Then you have the Lockheed Martin Armed Forces boat. So I've been to this boat game uh, a couple years ago. It's pretty cool. It's pretty good seeing the, you know, all the armed forces and stuff like that. So that was my first bowl game I ever went to. Um, you got James Madison, who finally got to get into a bowl game after their dumbass NCAA reason why they couldn't uh, against Air Force. Let's go James Madison. Go avenge Baylor for the loss against Air Force uh, last year in this bowl game. Fat Sam's going James Madison as well. I think he's in the same sentiment as you. Um, golly. I'm going to go with the upset, Air Force. And Air Force started out hot this year. They're like 8-0 and lost the last four games. Uh, they, no, I think they were 7 Was it 7-0? Yeah. I think they were 7-0. So they've lost, what, four of the last, what, three of the last four? Yeah. Four of the last five, whatever it is. Five, yeah. yeah. Man. Numbers, math. Yeah. Math be math. <laughs> <laughs> I got that Scott Steiner math. <laughs> 33, 33 and a third percent chance of winning that sacrifice. And you got the famous Idaho potato bowl. Appreciate you, Idaho, keeping it in your state with potatoes. Georgia State versus Utah State. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Utah State. I will also take Utah State and make it a sweep with Fat Sam taking Utah State as well. So I had to double take this boat. Okay, so it says sixty eight Ventures Bow. I swear it says sixty nine Ventures Bow. I'm like, oh, is this gonna be pay per view or what? But this should have been. They should have left it, and it should have been on Peacock. My God, <laughs> <laughs> it writes itself. Yeah, no, it does. It writes itself. You got the sixty eight Ventures Bow. South Alabama versus Eastern Michigan. I'm gonna go with USA. South Alabama. I'm going to take Eastern Michigan. Fat Sam is also taking Southern Alabama or South Alabama. Man, oh, man. Yeah, South Alabama beat Oklahoma State. And they beat them pretty good over there in Stillwater this year. I think so, yeah. Yeah. So that was one of those games at Oklahoma State that you dropped and you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're going to beat Oklahoma. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Then you have the SRS Distribution Las Vegas Bowl. You got Utah versus Northwestern. Uh, Utah's a seven point favorite in this one. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Northwestern. Mm, picking the upset, I see. Yeah. Uh, I will take Utah, and Sam is taking Utah as well. What a turnaround for Northwestern, though. It's definitely to go from what were they last year? Like one win mm -hmm. with uh, Fitzgerald, and they fire him finally, and the team turns around. They had that what was it a hazing incident? Hazing incident, supposedly. And he was there at least what 15 years. He was there for a while. He was there. For, I want to say it was close to ten. Was it close to ten? Okay, it just feels like forever. Yeah, he. I, I know he's probably coached there longer, but as far as the head coaching, I don't think it's been as long. And he played there too, so that's probably why it seems like he's been there forever. Yeah. Then you have the Easy Post Hawaii Bowl, Coastal Carolina versus San Jose State. Uh, I'm gonna go with San Jose State. Fat Sam is also taking San Jose State. I will take Coastal Carolina. They were a story. What, last year or two years ago, Coastal Carolina? A couple years ago. Yeah. They were undefeated and then lost in their conference championship and then their bowl game. Yeah. Just fell off. Yeah. Then you got the quick lane bowl, Bowling Green versus Minnesota. Minnesota 5-7? and seven? How did they get How bowl the hell? Eligible? How did they get – I bet you a team that was bowl eligible, probably in the Big Ten, was not uh, eligible. Maybe. Either that or maybe a team turned it down. Quite down possibly. Bowl. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, I'm going to go with Minnesota. Uh, yeah, I'll take Minnesota as well. Fat Sam is also in Minnesota. It's That's crazy. You've got a team that played 14 games, <laughs> and now you've got a team that's not bowl, that didn't win six that's bowl eligible. That's where you know you have too many bowl games. Yeah. Too many bowl games. You have the Serve Pro First Responder Bowl, Texas State versus Rice. Got a battle of two Texas teams in there. I'm going to go with the Cats. Go with Texas State. Eat them up, Cats. Yeah, Texas State, and so does Fat Sam. Yeah. Fat First, Sam, fat, shout out for constantly picking Texas State to win. <laughs> Never won a game. <laughs> then the one, like, there was like one week he didn't pick them. And then they, and win. they won. 
That was probably like their only win that season. Yeah. But what a turnaround. Yeah, Texas for sure. Seven and five, first bowl game in school history. Because um, they've been always uh, division, or they've been FCS. Mm-hmm. And they've been, were they in the Sun Belt before? They were, they're, they're in the Sun, they're Belt, in the Sun right Belt right now. They were in the Southland Conference. So it's been about almost 10 years now, though, right? That they've been in the Sun Belt? Uh, something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's been pretty close. Damn, yeah. have I been out of college that long? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Things make you go damn. I know. I was like, God damn, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> it's like longer than 10 years. I long. remember they were talking about getting into the WAC, and that fell apart yeah. when the WAC, when Boise State left and all that. And they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to go to the WAC because that's going to be built up, and that conference went bam. Just flat out went terrible. The whole Texas State. <clears throat> Shout out to Rice, though. Rice, yeah. you know, they haven't really been bowl eligible in a while either. Right. JT Daniel. <laughs> yeah. We see you. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, you got the guaranteed rate bowl, Kansas versus UNLV. Uh, man, it's going to be a pretty good game. I'm going to go with Kansas. Big bad Kansas. I'm sorry. Badass Kansas. Badass Kansas. Badass Kansas. We're all on badass Kansas. They can go to nine wins this year if they win this game. That's, that's crazy. And then you got the uh, Military Bowl presented by GoBowling.com. Got Virginia Tech versus Tulane. I'm going to go with Tulane. Yep, Tulane. And their ugly ass <laughs> face mask. Yeah. Uh, Sam is also taking Tulane as well. You got the Dukes Mayo Bowl. Now, if I'm the coach of this team, this game, I don't want to win because you get dumped by Mayo. They no. make them, hell, I'm losing yeah. this damn game. Yeah, I'm not doing it. If I do that, I'm saying, you know what? You do that, your ass is fired. Your ass is off scholarship. <laughs> I'm finding you every little bit, bit of your NIL. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> and I'm going to expose you to your girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take your girlfriend in front of you. You got North shout Carolina. Out, shout out Bobby Petrino. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, and you got North Carolina versus West Virginia. This is a, a it's gonna be an interesting game. You got West Virginia with quite the turnaround. My gosh, yeah, we were talking about Neil Browns this is the last season, and he's done. Hopefully, this happens over here in Waco next year. We we all picked them to finish at the bottom of the Big Twelve, yeah. and here yeah. they are finishing in the middle of the Big Twelve, about to go for nine wins if they win yeah. this game. And you know, for that reason, I'm picking West Virginia. Drake May's not playing, right? Uh, no. Doing it anyway. Love you, Mac Brown, North Carolina. <laughs> We're switching places. <laughs> uh, Sam is also taking North Carolina. Will Mac Brown get dumped by Mayo? He he he's a team player. He'll yeah, do he'll it. do it. Yeah, he'll do it. Uh, then you got the Direct TV Holiday Bowl. Louisville versus USC. I'm going with Louisville. I don't care. Louisville. No matter what. We're all on Louisville. <laughs> We're all on Louisville, but with good cause because Caleb Williams is not playing this game. Um, Louisville's pretty good. Yeah. Despite getting shut down by Florida State. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then you got the Tax Act, Texas Bowl, Texas A&M versus Oklahoma State. We're the battle of the mediocres. Uh, I'm going to go with Oklahoma State. I'm going to go with mediocre Mike Gundy. Yes, sir. And so is Samuel. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to explain why I'm going for Oklahoma State in that game. <laughs> um, you got the Wasabi. Fenway Bowl. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> SMU versus Boston College. Let's go, Mustangs. That sounds like things that should not be put together. At Wasabi all. and then Boston. That's what I'm saying. These sponsors for these bowl games. What the <laughs> hell? You can't get a pub to sponsor you? Right. You couldn't get like a Barnett's pub or uh Sam Adams or something. Barstool. Barstool, yeah. Yeah, did they lose their sponsorship? They had a bowl game last year. They still got one. Oh, okay. Um, who'd you say? I'm sorry. Uh, SMU versus Boston College. I got SMU. Yep, I'll take the Pony Express as well, and so does Fat Sam. Then you got the Bad Boy Mowers Pinstripe Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic that they picked the team, one of the teams in this bowl, for because they put Bad Boy in it. That's funny. That is funny because you got Rutgers and Miami. Um. <laughs> uh, I mean, technically, Ray Rice makes them bad boys. That is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and then I'm going to go with Miami. I'll take Miami as well. Uh, Fat Sam's on Miami as well. Here you go. You got the Pop-Tarts Bowl. North Carolina State versus Kansas State. Ooh, you got Old Consistent versus North Carolina State. Um, hmm. I'm going to go with Kansas State. 
that's a familiarity, but hmm. Bad Sam is also taking Kansas State. And so am I. I'm sticking with the Big Twelve love. So Yeah, for sure. Your last year in the Big Twelve. Yeah. <laughs> it's your last year too in the Big Twelve. Uh, you got the Valero Alamo Bowl. You got Arizona versus Oklahoma. Arizona, let's go. Fat Sam is also taking Arizona. I will take o- <laughs> Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> but Arizona, too, another team on the rise. Uh, if they win this game, they'll be 10 and 3. Well, you know what? On second thought, I forgot Dylan Gabriel isn't playing that game. He's not. Oh, that's right. General Booty Time? Might be general booty time. Call the general and save some time. <laughs> he needs to come out with the, uh, I'm an ass man. Yeah, I'm switching my pick. I'm taking Arizona. Forget that. <laughs> Arizona. I forgot completely about that. Dylan Gabriel entering the transfer portal to go to Oregon. That dumbass. <laughs> then you got the uh, Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. You got Clemson versus Kentucky. Oh, Clemson. Uh, I'll take Clemson. I'll, t- I'll give Dabo one. Uh, Fat Sam's also taking Clemson as well. Oh, here we go. They're great. You got the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. Love it. Oregon State versus Notre Dame. You got the Beavers versus the Irish. I can come up with so many jokes, but I'm not. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Notre Dame. Fat Sam is taking the Beavers. He loves, he believes in the Beaver. There's a joke to be made there, but I'm not going to do it <laughs> since he's not here. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's lunchtime, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, I'll take Notre Dame as well. This oh, bowl man. game used to be sponsored by, like, Sunkist, and then it was, like, Sun Trust Bank. It was, like, all kinds of crazy stuff, and now it's Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger. Who's next? Lucky Charms? Mm. At this point. At this point, Frosted Flakes. <laughs> right. Hey, seriously, it's like Tony the Tiger's his own person. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, they like, forget Frosted Flakes. Yeah, we got Tony. We got the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, Memphis versus Iowa State. I'm going to Iowa State. Bet Sam is also with Fired Up Matt Campbell. Uh, screw him, I'm taking Memphis. Memphis quietly 9-3. and three. You usually hear about them having a great year. Yeah. But they also probably were behind SMU yeah. in the in the AAC. Too lean, uh, no, too lean. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and then you have the uh, Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic, Missouri versus Ohio State. No uh, McCord. No McCord. Is Harrison playing? We don't know yet, right? He hasn't said yet. I would think he's not playing. You know, I'm gonna go with Missouri. Uh, Fat Sam's also taking Mizzou. I uh, will also take Mizzou. It'd be a big win for them, obviously. It would be a big win. And I don't want to hear the whole, well, Hall State's mad because they're in the combo, so they didn't want to come out and play, blah, blah, blah. No. They still have five-star talent. Exactly. A lot of five-star talent. It's next man up. Yeah. I mean, shout-out to Missouri for only going 10-2, and two, for going 10-2 and two and coming in second yeah. in their, their uh, what do you call it, division. Well, they didn't look bad at all. No. And they almost they, – they had Georgia on the ropes for a lot of that game. And, L- L- and they lost to LSU, and they could have beat LSU as yeah. well. Awesome. Man, that's crazy, 10-2. Because their first year in the SEC, they went to the SEC title game. <laughs> and then they just kind of went under after that. Yeah. I think it was like Drew Locke was their last good quarterback. And then, boom, that was it. They got the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl Ole Miss versus Penn State. This is a battle of the, we're almost there, guys. And then, no. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Penn State. Fat Sam is taking Lane Kiffin in Old Miss. I'm going to take my bald brother, James Franklin. Yes, sir. Bald is beautiful. And you got the trans. All right. You got the trans perfect <laughs> Music City bow. <laughs> you have Auburn versus Maryland. The way you pause on that, like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm reading these names for the first time. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? All right, I get it. It's a business. Uh, Harper versus Maryland. Oh, man. Do you go with two phones, you freeze, or, huh? I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Arbor. You know, for a second, I thought you were going to say TransUnion. The fact that you stopped meant, okay, that's not it, because I wasn't <laughs> even looking at the name of it. Uh, I'm going to take two his little brother in, in uh, Maryland. Bet Sam will also take Maryland. Baby Tua. 
And then you got the Capital One Orange Bowl, which I think would be the most entertaining game. Georgia versus Florida State. Man. I, I'm going with the Seminoles. I've been riding with them from the very, very beginning this year. Like, I was like, this team's going to play off and all this other crap. I'm going with them. They're going to go 14-0. Let's go Florida State. Uh, this is going to be an ass kicking. Georgia by 60. No, uh, Georgia by, like, 25. Uh, I'm taking Georgia. Fat Sam's also taking Georgia. And then you got the Barstool Sports, Arizona Bowl, Toledo versus Wyoming. Uh I'm going to go Wyoming. Fat Sam is also taking Wyoming, and as will I. Wyoming well, was in some good games this year. They played Texas tough until the fourth quarter. They played Tech tough. Didn't they beat Tech? Yeah. Uh, they played Oregon, too, didn't they? Yeah. They played. And they played Oregon tough. They're like, Rock it. Give us everybody. Right. Who's next? We'll take them all. Yeah. And then he got the, uh, is that the Really a Quest Bowl? Rilla. Rilla Quest Bowl? The hell? Uh, Wisconsin versus LSU. Uh, I got LSU. Uh, my family picks LSU. <laughs> uh, yeah, LSU. And Fat Sam also takes uh, Brian Kelly and LSU to uh, assassinate. <laughs> the Badgers. The Badgers, yeah. <laughs> execute, I'm sorry. Execute yeah, was the execute, word. Yeah, yeah, execute my players. They got the verbal Fiesta Bowl. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty versus Oregon. Oh, as much as I want to say Liberty, I'm going to go with Oregon. Sam's going for the upset. He's saying Liberty. Um, I'm going to take Oregon. What was the whole, whole boy's name? Uh, Buckshot? Is it Buckshot? Was that his name? I forget what the, the first year, I forget what that quarterback's name was. But And then you got the uh, Cheez-It Citrus Bowl. I would. <laughs> Versus ten to six. That's just a combination of two <laughs> yeah, things you yeah. don't put together. No. Like what? Citrus and cheeses. Yeah, I want Tennessee. You got a Tennessee favorite by eight and a half. I wish there was an over or under for this game. It'll probably be over forty and thirty five. It'll be Tennessee. Uh, I'm gonna go with Tennessee. Fat Sam is taking Tennessee. Give me Iowa. Because we've seen go. how good they can call a game in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. All right. And then, yeah, here we go. And then we got the, obviously, the main events of bowl season. You got the college football semifinal games. We got Alabama versus Michigan. Uh, if you had, didn't watch our uh, reaction to the college football playoff, it's on our YouTube channel. Go check it out. Uh, other than that, I got Alabama versus Michigan. Man, I thought about this. I thought about this game for a while, and I just feel like still with the stigma of hardball and the cheating and the sign stealing, all this other crap, and this Alabama who I said, man, after they lost to Texas, they're going to be on a mission. Here they go. They're going to be on a mission to win it all. And I got Michigan's on a mission. They're going to do it. So you got these two combustible elements about to pop. It's the irresistible force meets the in- immovable object. Exactly. I'm going with Michigan to win this game. Well, I continue on that. Fat Sam went with the opposite. He's going with Alabama. <laughs> um, got two great coaches, a lot of five-star talent, uh, questionable quarterbacks. Yeah, definitely. Great running backs. Um, very good defenses. Uh, my question, though, is Harbaugh's heart really in it because – He's got to go. I think just because of everything else going on, he's like, I gotta, I gotta prove a point. Just to stick I it up, everybody. Freaking prove a point right now. You know, he's that tight too. Yeah. Just, you know, just to stick it up, everybody. Yeah. And, and then get out. Um. To do a whole CM Punk and just. <laughs> yeah. With the tight. With the belt, <laughs> run out. Um. It's tough. It is very tough. This is a tough game. SEC all the way. Let's go, Alabama. <laughs> yeah, it's very tough. It's Alabama. I, I don't like to go against Alabama, but just it's just like the extra. This is just one of those. I I don't know. Hard to say. It is. Very hard to say. 
Then you have the other semifinal, not the All-State Sugar Bowl. Oh, I'm sorry, but the other one's at the Rose Bowl game. My bad. Uh, and you got the other All-State Sugar Bowl. got Texas-Washington rematch of the Alamo Bowl last season. Uh, you got all the great storylines in this game, obviously with Penix Jr. Uh, you got Ewers. You got all this. <clears throat> but I think the X factor is going to be Texas' defense. Mm-hmm. So I got Texas winning. Fat Sam grudgingly took Texas. <laughs> I will. I'm going to pick Texas, but I am hesitant because I did see what Washington did, and they kicked our ass last year. Mm-hmm. Completely kicked our ass. But this team is a lot different than that team last year. Uh, I think confidence-wise, this team is at an all-time high. That uh, running game, Stark is leaning more on that running game. Uh, Ewers' timing has gotten way better, especially yeah. on the deep ball. Uh, he, we finally found Mitchell, who's taking that pressure off of Worthy so teams can't just take Worthy away. Uh, Sanders is also taking a big step forward. Uh, just There's just a lot of lot of pieces to plug in. I mean, Washington, Heisman Trophy finalist right there with Penix. So. Yeah. Who just has that awkward throwing motion that you think he can't <laughs> throw it, and then it's like he just slingshots it out of his, out of his arm. But, um, yeah, taking Texas. Wishful thinking. <clears throat> Wishful thinking. So, sets up the national championship game. I got Michigan against Texas in the national title game. I'm still with the whole Michigans on this mission. Hardball. Every time I pick Michigan to win it all. And this is going to be like the second game of the year next year for these two as well. Really? In Ann Arbor. Uh, yeah. But I got Michigan winning That's it right. all. I forgot about that. A, that would be a Rose Bowl matchup, a uh, rematch mm-hmm. from the 2004? No, 2005. Yeah, the year before the national title yeah. <clears throat> victory. So, Texas and Alabama is what me and Sam have. He took Texas. Which yeah. Is surprising. Yeah. With the little throwing up emojis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably would have had a trash can out here if right. he was here right now. He'd be, hey. He'd probably be trying to cut his tongue out for saying <laughs> it. Um, no B for you. So, it's hard to beat Alabama twice. They've seen more game plan, but I still think we have a more physical team right now. I still think our offensive line is more physical than their defensive line. Defensive what defense uh, like the secondary part, I think they've gotten significantly better. Our receivers are really good, but I, they struggle with getting off the block or getting uh, off press coverage and everything. Our defense can't say enough about our defense. Our yeah. front, our front four beast. Our front seven actually. Our front what is it? I'm doing. I'm bad at math. Front seven. Seven. Yeah. A front seven is just, especially with sweat. That's a big boy. <laughs> that's a big boy. Yeah. Um, got to go stick, with them. Got to. Got to. Got to stick with my boys. Ride or die. Delusional fan right here. Hey, it's going to be a hell of a playoff, though. Yeah. I know everyone's pissed off about Florida State, which rightfully, you know, the fans are going to be pissed off. Yeah. You know, me is more of a selfish reason. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, I get, when I got the, the top four, I hit, this is going to be very, very, very interesting. Uh, I would kind of like to sing Alabama, Washington, Texas, Michigan, and then you have those, you know, combustible elements maybe at the end. Yeah. You know, but Washington's probably like, shit, we don't want no damn Alabama right now. Uh, but, yeah, so that's our picks for the bowls for national championship. Uh, game. We didn't put anything on the line. We have to put something on the line. For I say this. we up it. I say we up it. Normally we do the Chick Fil A ten dollar gift card. Mm-hmm. I say we up it. Let's do it. Fifteen dollars. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, fifteen dollar water burger gift card. There you Let's go. Do it. Fifteen dollar water burger card. It's decided. Yes, we got it. Uh, so yeah, that's that's our bowl preview. And there's gonna be a lot of craziness happening that weekend. Oh yeah, parties. You're gonna have people. Coming over, you're going to people have venues. What we got Which, going on? Actually, that brings us to our sponsor for the week. We have a sponsor. Let's go. Shout out to All Aboard Licensing. Uh, for everyone that's thinking about either opening a bar or restaurant or have, hosting an event where you're going to be selling alcohol, uh, you're going to need a permit to sell all that alcohol. Otherwise, getting shut down. Um, if you give All Aboard Licensing a call, uh, they're going to be able to do the work and help you get that permit done easily. Uh, even if you just need to consult with them, they're able to do that for you. Um, so get aboard with All Aboard Licensing. 
uh, sorry, All Aboard Alcohol Licensing. Look them up on Facebook. Uh, if you need to get a hold of them, you can reach out to them that way on Facebook. That's All Aboard Alcohol Licensing Service. Or you can call or text 254-722-8245 or 254-722-9324. Ask for either Doris or Patty. Shout out to them for sponsoring today's episode. Yeah, we greatly appreciate the sponsorship from uh, them. So, yeah, for sure. You want to do everything the correct way. The correct way and not not cost yourself money and potential jail time. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> not around this time of year, too, at all. Hell no. So, appreciate them for sponsoring us. So, we're getting to the NFL. Uh, we're going to talk about last week's games. Uh, and real quickly, we had, like I said, a quick turnaround on the championship. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I would like to say I am the remaining in your house sports still, champion. This week I know clinched it for you. This week I sucked. You're six and nine, I think. It was bad. Yeah, I got lucky on a few games, uh, but I'm gonna have this here. I'm gonna put and it still two time, two time, two time, two time. I'm gonna lay it right here. Just lay it right there. Yeah. Kind of tilt it up for the camera right there. There we go. It falls, it falls. Live TV. Let's go. There we go. But Yeah, so let's talk about these games, man. We talked about for, before we came uh, came up here, talking about these, this was one of those weeks where we're like, you know, this is going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. It's scripted. Very much so scripted. I don't care what y'all say. It's entertainment. It's on TV. Football's fake. Wrestling is real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, yeah, you start with Thursday night at the Patriots and the Steelers. The Patriots beat the Steelers 21-18. to Pittsburgh's lost two straight. Two. Below 500 teams. teams. They were 7-4 now. They're 7-6. New England was a 3-10. What the F? Ezekiel Elliott returning to form, yeah. taking the lead back spot and just running with it. And the Patriots scored more touchdowns than they have in what – my God. More it's, points since I think the last time they scored this many points was against uh, Buffalo. Uh, yeah, they had 29 when they beat them, 29-25. Yeah. Horrible. Just Bailey Zappi kept his job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For another week. And Bailey Zappi, he sounds like a potato chip. Like his name would be a potato chip or something. He sounds like that, that badass little kid in a private school <laughs> that sneaks in the drugs. <laughs> Zappi! <laughs> yes, ho! I know it's you again. <laughs> But man, yeah, the Patriots are so trash. It's sad. It's not sad. It's funny because it's not, you're not used to seeing the fall from grace. Yeah. Is real. It's like going back to the '80s and the early '90s, right? And Belichick's like, mm, whatever. Yeah, I don't care. Check uh, cashed. I'm done. <laughs> right. I'm on to next week. I'm on to vacation. I'm on to week 17. Sorry, you still got three games of the ball. Well, I don't know. You got the Buccaneers and the Falcons. The Buccaneers beat the Falcons twenty nine to twenty five. The Bucks, the division leaders at six and seven right now. That's uh, to use the use a phrase at work that NFC South, it's a juggernaut division. Look at them; they're all <laughs> three way tie at six and seven for first place. And was it last week? Carolina had a shot to go win the division, right? Yeah, just so bad. And they're at one and tw- one and eleven last week. They yeah. had a chance. We still like there's still a chance, guys. Still a chance. Uh, not much to say about that game. You got the Bengals beat the Colts 34-14. to Oh, Jake Browning. Another one. Jake Browning has another masterful game and another – pulled another rabbit out of his hat. Yeah, he beat, he beat old, uh, old Minshew over there. Old Gardner Minshew mania. Yeah, so the both teams are 7-6. and six. Uh, He had the freaking Browns beat the Jaguars 31-27. to It was crazy to see Trevor Lawrence back. So soon. Right, especially as bad as that injury My looked. Gosh. I mean, the fact that they had to – he couldn't put any weight on his on his foot. Yeah. But – It showed three interceptions, you know. I don't know. Joe Flacco looking elite, dare I say. Yeah. Three touchdowns, one interception, 311 yards on the passing game. It's crazy. He was – the Jets right now, I'm sure thinking, dude, where was this guy? Yeah. Where was this guy last year? You know what's funny on this ESPN picture? He still has his Jets jersey <laughs> <laughs> They're just rubbing it in, but the Browns eight and five. I'm I'm really surprised that the Browns are doing so well right now. They're stick they're sticking to it. No Deshaun Watson, no problem. Yeah, that defense is what's keeping them afloat. Yeah, uh, as long as the offense can keep them off the field, get them some breathers, they're they're able to go out there and ball. Yeah, I would not want to play them in the playoffs. No, 
No, definitely would not. Just keep that in mind. I would not want to play them in the playoffs if they make it. Right. I mean, they Baltimore has a two-game lead on them, but still. Yeah. That can switch easily, and you definitely don't want to go to – you'd much rather go to Baltimore. Right. You know, around playoff time than would Cleveland. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Uh, then we have the Jets beat the Texans 30-6. <clears throat> <coughs> That's bullshit. But anyway, uh, that was an ugly game. I think that first half was brought to you by off Iowa's uh, play calling. <laughs> Brian Ferentz was in the hits. It. it was a torrential downpour for towards the end of the second quarter. Uh, but there's just no excuse. We sucked. Both teams sucked that first half. Second half, we still continue to suck. Uh, I mean, Nico Collins goes down. Yeah. Uh, at that point, he's just trying – CJ's just trying to make, make use of Mechie. And um, who was the other guy he, that dropped passes? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, um, Noah Brown. Oh, Noah Brown. Yeah. He's just trying to make – Best use them, and their passes hitting them right in the hands are dropping it. So yeah, and they're losing Tank Dell last week too. Yeah, that, that I think that really hurt, <clears throat> really hurt the team, is because he's a big, big presence on that team, real, real well liked. Um, and then CJ getting concussed in the fourth quarter yeah. didn't help. So uh, I mean, definitely, definitely don't feel like sticking my neck out for Davis Mills uh, <laughs> to to lead this team. You don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this. Uh, did not bode well because, I mean, we had a chance to get back into the lead mm-hmm. of the division or to gain on Jacksonville, and we drop another game. The Colts <laughs> lose well as well. Yeah. You know, we, we we just didn't do our part. But it's a sign of a young team. Yeah. Learning, growing, Learning. developing. I, the defense just was on the field too long. Yeah. The defense was on the field way too long, so. You have the Ravens beat the Rams in overtime 37-31. So Lamar's still undefeated against the NFC over here. Is it undefeated or is it just one loss? It's undefeated this year. This year. Yeah. But yeah, that's that was a hell of a game. I was not expecting that kind of fight from the Rams. No. But the, yeah, the Rams are just they're not who they were, but they're just The Rams are a very interesting team because when they're supposed to play great, they play terrible. Mm-hmm. But when they're not supposed to play, when they're supposed to get dominated, destroyed, they come out. They come out and let the nuts hang, you know. <laughs> that swagger. That swagger. Uh, then you have the Bears beat the Lions 28-13. to 13. Justin Fields trying to keep his job. My gosh, he's balling out over here. He had one touchdown. But, hey. <laughs> it, was a ro- it was a rocket to DJ Moore. <laughs> yeah. 223 yards yeah. passing. Let's just give him what, that, what he has. I mean, the fact, fact is, he's like, nah, nah. You draft Marvin Harrison number one. Keep yeah. me. Keep me here. <laughs> give me my receiver. Get me give me another receiver. But the Lions losing this game, that's big for them to lose this game. It is big. I mean, they played terrible against the Bears the last time they played them a couple weeks ago. So because the schedule doesn't get any. So they got the Broncos, the Vikings, the Cowboys, and then the Vikings again. They legit could lose those next four games. Yeah. Straight. They really could. The Vikings still have a chance to win that division. Yeah. So do the Packers. Yeah. But so I, I think Dan Campbell feels it. Yeah. Like his post game interview, you can just see he's like, shit. Like, we, sh- damn it. Like, we stubbed our toe in this game yeah. for sure. We were overlooking Chicago. Kind of like they did Green Bay in uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. I think. Same thing. Uh, but like this team, too. First year, they were like really winning. So yeah. got to learn, got to go with it. Uh, you have the Saints beat the Panthers 28 to 6. God damn, man. Throw the damn towel. <laughs> the Panthers are terrible. <laughs> oh, my God. One in 12. What are we doing? Oh, not much to say about that game. I still feel bad that we're the one. The one. We the one. <laughs> we the one. <laughs> <laughs> and then you had the Iowa special, right? Uh, the game of the week. The game of the week. Should have been on Monday night. Should have been the, uh, the triple header on Monday night. Yeah. You had the Vikings beat the Raiders 3 to 0. And that is not a baseball score. At all. That is not the Twins versus the soon-to-be uh, Las Vegas A's. Yeah. That was the Raiders and the Vikings in a football game. National Football League game indoors. In Vegas. Of all places. Yes. How do you – all right, if I'm a Raiders fan, because there's more Raiders fans than Vikings fans, like, how do you watch that game and just sit there the whole game like – 
Yeah. We're going to win. Who are you more frustrated? <laughs> Who are you? Who's more frustrated? The offense or Devontae Adams sitting there going, can we, can we seriously not get anything going? Yeah. Versus Max Crosby on the defense going, guys, we're pitching a shutout over here. What are y'all doing? Do Come something. On. Dude, he, it's it's the the meme of the the guy the, the stick figure pointing poking. <laughs> Come on, do something. <laughs> so yeah, you're the defense. You're you're pissed off at the offense. Yeah. So you couldn't you couldn't get three goddamn points. That's just crazy, man. Three to nothing. Three to nothing. Could you imagine if they went to overtime? Oh my god. And had tied zero zero. <laughs> That'd have been horrible. <laughs> or if it would or if it would have tied, and then they went to overtime. Or you know went to overtime and then they tied three to three. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I could expect that this year from if the Panthers and the Patriots played each other, you could see that happening. Yeah. But this these two teams, no, nah. not with. And then, of course, Justin Jefferson goes down again. Yeah. So that made da- dash uh, whatever chances they are, and Josh Dobbs is falling right back down to earth. Yeah, he's like, oh, I forgot I'm Josh Dobbs. Yeah. Never mind, check out. <laughs> he can't go higher. No. Uh, then you have the 49ers beat the Seahawks 28-16. to 16. Old bully ball, San Francisco. And the score was really a lot closer than what the game actually was. Yeah. So San Francisco looking like the team to beat in the NFC. Do you see uh, the uh, punter for San Francisco after the game? No. He did the – you know how DK has been doing the sign? Oh, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He told the – Told DK, he said, 14, fuck around and find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in did he do like in the locker room or home? Yeah, was in the right? locker room, yeah. yeah. He's that in the locker great. room. I think he was like in the locker room after the game. That's great. He just sat down in front of his locker and did it. So that was that was hilarious. And DK uh, channeling his inner Kurt Angle. Yeah. Belly the back suplex. Perk Angle over there. I'll tell you, <laughs> God dang. I'm like, all right. It's like, dang, DK. Catch SmackDown Friday Night on Fox. Yeah. That, that was perfect promotion right Seriously. there. <laughs> I'm going to skip this game because I got to talk about this one more in depth. And then you have the Broncos beat the Chargers 24-7. to Broncos 7-6. to LA 5-8. Justin Herbert out. Yeah. I mean, that's just the Chargers, though. It is. And you can't say they're losing because he's not there. He's there. He's been there. Yeah. It's just the Chargers. That is just the Chargers' MO. That is just how they've been for what? The past 20. 20 something. Yeah, when Tomlinson was there with uh, Rivers. Yeah. They could be a great off, a regular season team. Get to the playoffs. Oh, we still play? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, oh we didn't win? <laughs> <laughs> you got the Patriots' way? This yeah. is the Chargers' way. Yeah. <laughs> what what can go wrong will go wrong for the Chargers. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so sad. We probably won't see the Cowboys and Chargers in the Super Bowl. <laughs> um, then you have the Bills. Finally beat the Chiefs 20 to 17. But no one's talking about that right now. No. Ain't no one talking about it. We're talking about Patrick Mahomes and his bitch fit at the end of the game. He did throw a fit. Now, I will say, I don't know if you saw yesterday. I think it was I think it was Orlovsky put a compilation together of how many times Tony's actually lined up offsides and they didn't call it. Mm-hmm. It was like four or five other times this season that he's lined up offsides and they didn't throw the flag. Is that why he was mad? <laughs> He's always lining up offside, yeah. goddammit. You're going to call he it. He can't see. <laughs> <laughs> He's nearsighted, damn it. But, man, I don't know. What I didn't What I didn't like at the end of the game, honestly, be pissed off all you want. Yeah. That's great. I understand. Motion of the game. But Josh Allen went up there. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. All the shit that Buffalo went through losing to Kansas City. Yeah. And then they get their win. I'm like, I'm watching. I'm like, Kind of happy for Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, you can see, like, Scott McDermott's, oh, my God, my fucking 9-11 speech work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we didn't even talk about that. And yeah, then, that's what, <laughs> like, that kid, he's probably thinking, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All that just gets swept <laughs> under the rug. I'm wrong. I don't remember that. Uh, and then Josh Allen goes up, does the whole, hey, man, good game. And he's in the back off. <laughs> Motherfucker, like, just hard back off. I can't do a Kermit. I can't do person. it either. <laughs> hey, um, that's a terrible call. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to get Miss Piggy on the phone, and she's going to give you an earful. <laughs> hey, that was close. <laughs> but, yeah, like, hey, dap him up, good game. Then yeah. go off and go bitch off again. You know, yeah. you'd be mad again. But, God, no, man, that was like, number one, it was a penalty. Yeah. Number two, watching it again, 
He checked with the ref, but he was still walking to the line. Yeah. He got set first and didn't do it. Like, why are you going to get mad at us? So that that I didn't know. I didn't know that he even looked at the refs. Yeah, so they showed, uh, I think it was this morning I saw, they had a video of him walking. Like, well, he checked with the refs, but he wasn't set. He's walking up, he does that. Yeah. Then he sets. But the ref, I guess, never gave him the thumbs up that he was on. Yeah, because you have to set first. Yeah. Then do that. I mean, that's freaking fundamentals. That's yeah. all the refs like, oh, fuck it. Huh, flag. <laughs> the ref's like, this dumb mother. All right. Yeah. And it's I'm like, thinking. Look, look at this dumb ass. I got him. Yeah. I got him. And then, of course, in the play, the fact that they score on that play, yeah. the Kelsey to throw it back across to Kadarius Tony. Yeah. You know. Nice pass, by the way. Yeah. But I'm looking at it like, Mahomes, are you really pissed off at the ref? Or are you really being passive aggressive? And you're like, oh, chewing out Tony. It's super passive aggressive. So he doesn't look like the bad guy. Yeah. That's and, what it is. And I think it's Andy Reid, too. I think they just don't want to call him out and be that, be that guy. If it was Ron Rivera, he'd be like, dumbass lined up off sides. Yeah. He's the reason we lost this game. 13 games in. Was Eric Bieniemy really the one saving that offense? He probably could make some chicken salad out of chicken shit, right? Because he would have been all over Tony's ass. Yeah. Just saying. Did they have a timeout? I don't remember, to be honest with you. I don't remember if they had a timeout or not. You would think that if somebody there – well, no, it was the opposite side. So, never mind. They probably wouldn't have – opposite side. Well, maybe it would. But even then, you can tell. Man, this guy's lining up offside. I'm taking timeout. <laughs> yeah. Something. That's on the coaching staff at that point. But still, same time, Tony. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, bro. You can see you're looking past the ball. Yeah. Like you're 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 lined up with the defensive line. <laughs> you're all sides. I don't know. I, I just I feel like that's that's something that as a wide receiver, that's automatically you know. Yeah. Let me set my good. No, I'm gonna go back, go up, whatever yeah. the case may be. That's right. it. Instead of walking, pointing, and then set. Well then I also saw they were like, well, not only was they did the complete opposite, not only was Tony off sides, the tackle <laughs> Wasn't even like <laughs> so they could have had a penalty. They could have either way. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. It's just I like Mahomes. I have nothing against him, but man, I do. I understand you get pissed off, but that one just was a uh, little, little out there. It's just a Josh Allen thing. Dap him up. Good game. Appreciate yeah. it. See you next time. Then go continue your bitching after that. Don't do it, anymore. Josh. I don't give a shit. Josh, is like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, motherfucking like, yeah. all right. But anyway, yeah. So, and Sean McDermott's uh, 9-11 <laughs> speeches get uh, get swept under the rug, get buried in the Pentagon. Yeah. Or in field in Pennsylvania. He's good now. Yeah. So I got to keep my job. Yeah. And I think too, at the end of the game, he was like, oh, we fucking won this game. You could just see like Dude, he, he literally just, you could tell he was just like, thank you. Josh Allen, the exact same way when that happened, he's just like, oh. Yeah. Finally blew the load. <laughs> No more blue balls for you. It's like we're always almost there, guys. He got his happy ending. <laughs> like, nah, never mind. I'll stop. He said, hey, Deshaun, I know what you mean now. <laughs> God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Seriously, that's how it goes. And then you have the uh, Cowboys beat the Eagles 33-13. to 13. Screw you, Philly. I love to see it. Just an ass whooping. Total ass whooping this game. But Philly did it themselves. Turnovers. And that's the thing with Philly. Yes, they're good, but they've been lucky a lot of times. Yeah. Like you said, they don't have that defense they did last season at all. Yeah. They still try to say Philly's physical. Nah. Short yardage, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, you're, you're not going to be scared to throw the ball through the middle. You're yeah. not going to be scared to throw it up one-on-one. Yeah. Do you feel losing both their coordinators have contributed to – that yeah right now inefficiencies on defense and on offense it looks like it right now it does um and then you got the cowboys Dak prescott doing his thing Dak didn't play his best game no but he played very well enough very well enough looked in control at no point did dallas act like they were like "Uh oh here they come even even the scoop and score Mm -hmm. just like Ah, uh, well, damn. Keep doing our thing. Yep. It's like, well, we got another ball. We got the ball back. Let's just go down, and let's let's take advantage of it. And like I've been telling y'all 
for a while now. And I've seen text y'all, like, with the whole Dak situation. I'm like, they have to stop treating him like Tony Romo. They have to stop trying to make him a quarterback that he's not. Yeah. Play to his strengths. That's why McCarthy was like, all right, let's get this dude out of here. Let me put my dust on him. I know people are like, oh, McCarthy. But, hey, it's working. So far, it's working. It's working. 13 games in, it's working. We'll see when the calendar hits January. Yeah, we'll see. that's that's where it really matters <laughs> the most. And we'll see that. Uh, we'll see that. But, like you said, it's just Dallas was the defense. Even defense was a little. Yeah. Was a little. Eh. They bend, but they didn't break. Yeah. They made the plays they didn't make. They made the plays. Um, Stephon Gilmore. <laughs> cerebral. Yep. He was in A.J. Brown's head. Yes, he is. He's AJ, not going to wow you, yeah. but he's going to do it. He was like – he was he was basically like how um, – what was it that uh, – uh, how Fred Warner was in D.K. Metcalf's mm-hmm. head. Yeah. He was just in his in his head. And you could tell A.J. Brown was just getting frustrated. He was frustrated. frustrated. And Devontae Smith kept getting just lit up. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. Devontae going, bro, you're the one that ain't getting hit. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I ain't got that frame yeah. you got. <laughs> Uh, then you have the Jackers. The Jackers. <laughs> <laughs> they jacked that one up. <laughs> oh, here the Giants beat the Packers 24-22. No reason why I'm saying the Jackers. <laughs> oh, yeah, my boy DeVito. Forget about it. Win his third straight game at quarterback. My God, that's great. 24 to 20. And his agent showing up there on the sideline. <laughs> Looking like he's on the Bronx still. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Jello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tommy, come here. <laughs> You're going to throw this touchdown, right? You're going to cover the spread? Good. Out of boy. Going to call back the bookies to get back my money. That's what I'm saying, man. This is entertainment. There's characters involved. Come on. Yeah. You got the heel turn by Patrick Mahomes. Mm-hmm. Then you got the face over here. And Tommy DeVito, Tommy DeVito. the up and coming baby face. Yeah, for New York. Like, let's yeah. do it. He's a he's a fighter. <laughs> he's a fighter coming up through the New York Bronx. Yeah, who doesn't love that story? Who? I mean, come on. This is great. The only thing that, only other thing that could rival that would be if he's from Philly, coming up trying to be the next right. Rocky. That'd be great. <laughs> Sunday night football. Yeah. Uh, they had the Titans beat the Dolphins 28 27. The Dolphins, like, nah, I'm good. I don't want no first place yeah. in the AFC. What y'all talking about? Not <laughs> that shit. Tyreek, man. Tyreek's a trip. Yeah. What you talking about? Yeah, I had to get back out there. My. <laughs> it's like, bro. No. Oh, man. But yeah, that was that was bad. The defense just let them down. Flat Big out. time. Big time. But then, but then again, McDaniels got conservative at the, at the end. He got conservative, and that's what gave Tennessee the chance. He does it at times, too. Yeah. He does. What a week, though. What a week in football. Uh, so let's go get these picks for next week coming up. Um, we got Thursday. We got the Chargers and the Raiders. Oh, my God. Uh, we're the Raiders. Do I have to pick this game? I don't know, right? <laughs> Ty. Uh, that same is taking the Raiders. I, um, Jesus. This is like asking, would you rather drown or be caught on fire? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> um, screw it, since we're all, I guess we'll all go with the Raiders. Poor Thursday nights. They get the shittiest <laughs> games. At least if we're at least if the the Chargers win, we're all it doesn't hurt. Yeah, us. <laughs> seriously, I got the Vikings and the Bengals. I'm gonna go with the Bengals. Take the Bengals as well. And Pat Sam's also with the Bengals. Steelers and Colts. I'm gonna go with the Steelers. I think they bounce back. Mm. Fat Sam's also hoping that the Steelers bounce back. Ah, uh, damn it! I'll take the Colts. <laughs> you got the Broncos and the Lions. I'm going to go with Detroit to bounce back very close. Matt Sam is going with the Broncos. Um, and I'm going to have to agree with him. I'm going to go with the Broncos. All right, Sunday. So this game's top of my list because obviously I got them as my saved favorite team. Got the Cowboys and the Bills. I'm going to go with the Bills. 
As I wear this <laughs> nice pullover. <laughs> uh, Samuel's going with the Cowboys. This is just like bizarre world because now I'm picking the Cowboys. <laughs> it is. Can have the Jets and the Dolphins. Who are we going to get in this game? Hmm. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. I'm Fat Sam's taking the Dolphins. I'm going to also go with the Dolphins just because they're playing in Miami. There's more demographic, demographic that will go to the game that are going to be younger women that aren't MILFs. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Distraction City. Now you got the Texans and the Titans. Uh, I'm about to go with the Titans. Uh, Sam's going with Houston. I am hesitant because I, we still don't know if CJ Stroud yeah. is clear concussion protocol, and we won't know until later in the week. Um, ride or die, Houston. Let's go. You got the Bucks and the Packers. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Packers. Yeah, I'll take the Packers to bounce back. Sam's taking the Packers to bounce back. You got the Giants and the Saints. <laughs> I'm going with the Giants. Gotta Forget keep it. about it. Come gotta, on. Gotta keep it Come going. on. Take the Giants. Sam's also on the Giants. He's also uh, holding the cannolis for him. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Falcons and the Panthers. I've been pan- uh, picking the Panthers the last two weeks, and I'm not going to do it this week. I'm going with the Falcons. Dirty Birds right here. Uh, and from Fat Sam. You got the Bears and the Browns. Fuck it. I'm going to go with the Bears. Dub Bears. You're taking Dub Bears? Dub Bears. Sam's taking Dub Bears as well. I will take the Browns. I will continue to ride the Browns. And then you got the Chiefs and the Patriots. Mm. Well, the Chiefs. They have to win this game. They have to win it, yeah. We're all on Kansas City. And you got the 49ers and the Cardinals. With the 49ers. Yeah. Another sweep, 49ers. Then you have the uh, Commanders and the Rams. That's just what the fuck. The Rams. I'll take the Rams. Sam's going with the Commanders. You got the Ravens and the Jaguars on Sunday night. I still don't think Trevor will be 100%. I'm going to go with the Ravens. I'm also take the Ravens, and Fat Sam is also taking the Ravens as well. Then Monday night, you got the Eagles at the Seahawks. Geno's playing. We don't know what Geno's playing, right? He still uh, hasn't gotten the cleared. I'm going to go with the Seahawks. Fat Sam is also taking the Seahawks. Both teams need this this win to bounce back. Um, Seattle dropping two straight. They're going through the the heart of their their or their schedule. Seattle's getting out of the heart of their schedule. I'm sorry, Philadelphia. Philadelphia getting, yeah. getting out of the heart of their schedule. Um, Battle of the Birds. I'm going to go Fly Eagles Fly. So that's the uh, what's that week fifteen. Uh, yeah, that's week 15. Man, week 15. So we got like three more weeks. Yeah, week I have to double check. I'm like, yep, that's week 15. Wow. Checking cool. fantasy football. I'm like, yep, that's week 15. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so there's our picks for the week, and then there's our show for today. We appreciate y'all joining us. Remember, catch us on YouTube, In Your House Sports, Facebook, In Your House Sports. The next time we'll see you here at Rogue Media Network, it'll be 2024, January. Already? Damn. Isn't that crazy? That's <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Appreciate Rogue Media Network for having us. Uh, Appreciate everyone that's joined us. If you join us, uh, great. If you don't, you're missing out. Thank Um, you, uh, All Aboard Licensing, or uh, I'm sorry, All Aboard Alcohol alcohol Licensing Service. I cannot say that, and clearly I am. This is water. (laughs) This is water. (laughs) But, yeah, if you'd like to sponsor a show, get at us in your house sports at gmail.com. For Manny D. And your boy Vasos. Peace out. Later. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.